Hey there, it's Monica, registered dietitian nutritionist based in Denver, Colorado, and I'm gonna make like a really easy, super simple snack before my workout, which is at 4.30. Um, so I'm going to do something that is quick and high digesting carbs, and that kind of looks like boobs, um, and then uh, good lean protein, and then I want some flavor too. And capers kind of count as a vegetable because they're a flower, but anyways. So that's it, there are one, two, three, four ingredients, count them, and here we go. So what I'm gonna do first is I'm going to put some of this solid white albacore tuna on to the rice cakes. There's four ounces of tuna in one can. The serving size is two ounces, 70 calories, so if you use a whole can, it's 140 calories, if you're counting calories. If you're not, then just don't even care what I just said. Anyways, so I'm gonna put some tuna on the rice cakes. Um, my mom would be really proud of me because I put a plate down on the counter before I started making a snack instead of just making the snack before that. Oh, you can't even see because my props are in the way. Okay, so yeah, really official here. Tuna on the rice cake. So, um, what can I talk about tuna? Oh, solid white albacore tuna. I actually like skipjack tuna because it's a smaller tuna, which means there's less mercury, but Zach likes solid albacore, so every week he buys solid albacore tuna and doesn't really eat it, so I eat it. So thanks, Zach. Thanks for your tuna. Um, okay, so now I have the um, tuna on the rice cakes, and I'm going to add the mustard and the capers. Okay, so mustard first. Mustard nutrition facts. I go with spicy brown mustard because it's delicious. And by the way, for the first 21, 22, 21, 22, I don't know. For the first two decades of my life, I was so against mustard because psychological reasons. When I was little, my dad used to say, ooh, it's yellow, um, and got me to hate mustard. Thanks, Dad. Um, and then my brother one day was like, Monty, just got to try it. Just got to try it. And I was like, fuck it. Oh, I will try something. So I tried it and just my mouth just like started watering because of that vinegary goodness flavor. And now I legit put this on everything. Everything that I would want mustard on. I don't put it on like smoothie bowls. That would be disgusting. But I bet you'd get a lot of likes, which is stupid. Anyways, okay. Capers are the last ingredient. Um, I don't really want to use the same fork that I put the tuna on. So I'm going to get a new fork knife because I'm out of forks. <laughs> okay, and I'm just gonna add a little bit just like this, you know, this technique here. It's called the knife in the jar technique. Real good, real official. And that's it. That's my snack. Look how Instagram worthy this is. It's legit. Yep. So I'm gonna enjoy this and it's gonna make a mess. So let me just pat it down a little bit. Make it nice and nice. Nice and even, so that way in every single bite I can get all the goodness. My mouth is legit watering right now because this is going to taste a little bit. Oh, by the way, I didn't use a whole can of tuna, so I'm probably going to divvy it up and give it to my pets. Um, all right, let's give this a whirl. Look at this. It's so good. Yep. I knew it was going to be good. Maybe a little black pepper. Other than that. Fantastic. If you like this video, give it a like. If you like this recipe, let me know how much you liked it. And uh, yeah, if you have any questions about why this is a good pre-workout snack, holla at your girl, Monica Salapia, registered dietitian nutritionist in Denver, Colorado.